Welcome to demo number four for the wall screens work cycle. Today is November 30th, 2021. It's been a busy couple of weeks for the wall screens team. And one of the first things I'd like to highlight is these three buttons here at the bottom of the wall screen. You may remember these used to have uh, experience titles down here, but we've changed these so that they feature the three different experience types, slideshows, guided tours, and oral histories. And so if I click on slideshows, you'll see a list of slideshows that are available in this wall screen. Same thing with guided tours, same thing with oral histories. And if you take a look at the images featured here in this grid, you'll see that they're actually sampling from several different experiences. One of the reasons for this change is that we wanted to make sure that all of the curated content in this wall screen is equally accessible to visitors um, and so that they can get an overview of the content that's available to explore. These new experience index pages uh, also required some changes to how uh, a tracked mode works. So you may remember from our last demo that if the wall screen is left unattended for a certain amount of time, uh, it begins to cycle through content to try and attract visitors to interact with the screen. So I've sped up the time interval here for demonstration purposes. So you can see that we were on oral histories and we've now cycled through to slideshows. And in a second here, we should get guided tours. So that was um, one of the big new features that was implemented uh, this last sprint. In general, we've also done a lot of refinement and fine tuning of uh, some of the interaction design on the screen. So in particular, I wanted to point out um, Guided tours, we now have this smooth kind of sliding Ken Burns effect uh, before we enter the guided tours. So I'll pull up the medical devices for an example. You can see there's like a nice crossfade of that image into the content area. And we crossfade again into the guided tour. Uh, some other changes have been made to the intermediate card layout. You, you may notice we've removed the QR code that was here last demo, and that's just to kind of maximize the space available to curators for uh, descriptive text and captions um, and information about the uh, collection that's being featured. Also made a little change to the more infomodal. You can see there's a little bit of debug information here in this bottom left corner with information about um, when, uh, this, when this version of the wall screen was built and some useful information for developers here that we hope will help with troubleshooting wall screen issues um, in the future. I also wanted to mention that we now have a full set of content uh, for both the Silicon Valley Archives screen and We See You. And I just want to make a special shout out to Michael Angeletti at Sample uh, for really going above and beyond to uh, work with this oral history content and make sure everything is looking beautiful and ready for our January launch. During this last sprint, we also spent some time configuring our Windows PCs and Chrome and basically just making sure that um, users don't run into unexpected interactions while they are clicking around the wall screen. Um, so we have, we've disabled right-clicking and a couple of different touch gestures in the experience. 
Uh, what you're looking at here is the wall screens handbook. So significant progress has been made over the course of this work cycle on the creation of a Sewell wall screens handbook, an essential companion to the wall screens application. The goal of the handbook is to make curatorial preparation process transparent and provide clear, easy to follow guidelines for future wall screen content creation. The handbook provides an overview for Stanford Library's staff involved in the wall screen experience creation process. It also includes a step-by-step -step guide for wall screen content creators as well. The current handbook draft is scheduled for completion by the 17th of December, and it will be available to all SWOL staff. The team has also done some significant work investigating analytics options for the wall screens. While a traditional Google Analytics setup might include page views and click information out of the box, we wanted some additional information about how visitors are interacting with the screen. We set up some custom events triggered by specific interactions, such as opening a more info modal or selecting the next button to move through an oral history interview. Uh, we also have uh, an idle event that is triggered when the uh, when the screen is left unattended and it uh, enters a tracked mode. So in combination with some planned in-person usability testing, we hope that this data can help inform future wall screens development. And uh, we hope to make this interface available to uh, curators to give them additional insights into their content.